Great to be with you on this Tuesday, and I trust you're rejoicing in the resurrection of Jesus Christ this week. Oh, may we all be stronger than ever as we think of the message that we have in Christ. But as I've said over and over throughout our times over the last <laughs> over 500 sessions now, I am burdened that we allow what's going on in the world to affect our thinking, to cause us to be fearful, to who make us pull back on the accomplishment of the Great Commission and to maybe even influence our thinking. You see, Satan is constantly at work. And as you look at America alone, of course, it's around the world, but you look at from the political to the educational to the entertainment world uh, to the business world, they're all now very much unifying in an anti-God perspective. There's all this pressure that is there. And really, it's open wickedness. And we need to understand that and not get used to the agenda of the world in all the different areas that we are hearing. And we need to remember what Proverbs chapter 12 says in verse 7. The wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. God is on the side of those who are saved, therefore have a righteous standing with God, and those who are living out their salvation by having the Spirit of God produce the fruit of the Spirit in their life. And so as the world seems to have the upper hand, remember, at the cross, Satan's head was crushed, the wicked are already overthrown. In God's mind, the victory has been won. For us, we need to realize that when we walk with God, even through difficult times, even with the pressure of the world around us, and maybe in days ahead, some very real persecution, that God is going to cause everything that we do, both in our family and in our work for the Lord through the local church, all of that will stand. In fact, in some of the most difficult countries in the world, Christians are standing with the truth, and yes, some are suffering for the truth, but there is a multiplying work that's going on that's going to last for eternity. And so we need to realize that God is observing everything. He hasn't been defeated. He has his own economy of how he has decided things are going to work, and Satan in the realm of the lost world has his power. But the kingdom of God goes forward in the spiritual realm. And he does it through the local churches all around the world. And so if we will not let ourselves be affected, we need to truly believe that the wicked are overthrown already, even though we don't see it. They are definitely going to be, and their end is tragic. And that what we do will stand, and it will stand forever. So let's stay encouraged in all that we have in Christ. And may we uh, realize that our lives need to count for that which will stand for eternity.